Welcome back gamers, this is uh, Wintermute again. So in the last video I was kind of constrained, I couldn't buy aluminum to expand a bunch of things. Uh, prices are just crazy right now for aluminum, so I switched over to my other main map, or one of my main maps, um, where I can build, I think, just about everything. And then I want to take you through some of the other alien technology buildings, and then some of the uh, capital buildings as well. So let me zoom in here. One thing I want to show you first was uh, the encyclopedia, which is under the settings. And it's pretty useful. It it shows you um, kind of all the details about the buildings. Like over in this, well, if you're playing on PC, you can see the details of the buildings you are able to build, but you can't see all the ones that you can't build yet. But if you go into the encyclopedia, you can see all the good stuff. So if you go to buildings, it's kind of categorized. You can see all the buildings and the requirements and stuff. So let's see what we can maybe we can find some of the stuff that I want to talk about here. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, the ancient alien microchip factory. We hadn't built one of those in the, uh, yet, so here's all the stuff you need to build it. Um, there's some research, which I think we did in the last video. It's really expensive in terms of uranium and aluminum, but it produces a lot of microchips. And I'm going to show you a tool, um, either in this video, probably the next video, uh, that lets you see all the requirements for a building. Uh, in terms of resources and research, uh, it's some one of the players built it. It's really cool, uh, so I'll show that next time. This is showing what it costs to build, but it uh, this site I'm talking about shows you kind of the capabilities as well, what it does. So we're going to build this ancient alien condenser later too. Actually, we won't build one. I'll just show you it and tell you what what they all do. Uh, the quantum warehouse. Well, it does show you what it stores, which is nice. So 150,000 of each durable good. The quantum wa water tower. These are all upgrades of kind of all the standard buildings that we had before. And actually, I built um, I built kind of like the progression of each thing just to show you. So like how food from the, kind of the earliest. I mean. This was the earliest on the Mars planet, but on Earth, this is the earliest one, the potato patch. But you can, these are the, in terms of how much food they produce, this is the order that they go in. And then we've got water storage, kind of the water tank and the water tower and the large water tower and the quantum water storage. Uh, some of the housing kind of progression. Um, This is this was the biggest housing module before. This uh, luxury tower is a tourism building. It's not technically housing. It does house 200 residents, but I just put it there for fun. We've got our different store food storage buildings. The silo, the large silo, the subterranean, and the quantum. Over here, we've got three different atmosphere generators, or things that you know build your atmosphere. Uh, small, medium, and then the bacteria farm. And then over here, we've got kind of the progression of power. So the charcoal burner, the small solar panel, which we started with, solar tower, oil plant, nuclear, Hydrogen reactor, and then this is new to you uh, in the series, the alien power tower. This is so, at the moment, this is the best power generation. And I think it generates 45, yeah, 45,000 power, which is uh, pretty crazy. So it's a big step up from this hydrogen reactor, which is 5,500. We go all the way to 45,000. And all this uses is helium-3 for consumption, which you can't generate, you can only generate it on the moon but you can just import it instead. Uh, over here we've got the three levels of durable goods warehouses. 
the standard one, the brick one, and then the quantum one. So, and then the other piece of alien technology didn't talk about is the ultra deep dig site, which is similar to the dig site, but it does, uh, I think it pumps out artifacts at twice the rate. And then over here, this little building, the alien condenser, it's similar to the, uh, the do I still have any of the left? The blue, uh, the smaller condensers, which take atmosphere and create water. So these are like the ultra version of the condensers. You got to be careful not to build too many or it might like destroy your atmosphere, but we're okay for atmosphere right now. Uh, this crazy looking thing here, uh, this really, 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 really tall building is new in the latest patch. It's the space elevator. It's an upgrade of the galactic freight and it lets you export and import in units of 10,000 instead of 1,000. But we we'll, won't really talk about that one too much in this video. Uh, the thing we couldn't build in last video is this plastic factory, which uh, we needed, I forget what we needed to build it, but oh, a lot of aluminum and aluminum prices rise. So it just uh, consumes oil, crude oil, which we're just buying on the market. You can. On the earth map, you can actually mine it with an ore miner or an oil miner, uh, but we don't have any oil on the Mars planet, so we have to we have to import it. Uh, here's one of the built micro uh, alien microchip factories. Uh, this crazy looking thing here is the one of the new housing modules. It is the Oh, they call it a residential tower Oh, versus a residential complex. It houses 1,100 people, but it only takes up two tiles. Whereas the subterranean one, which I had built a lot of, this underground looking thing here, it holds 1,000, but it's four by four. So it's not very space efficient. You'll notice I built a lot of uh, these plastic factories because I need to generate a lot of plastic to build some other buildings. So the, as mentioned, the, this quantum water tower is just an upgrade of the water tower, holds a ton of water. Same with the quantum food storage. Um, and then the other kind of stuff I wanted to talk about uh, in this video are the capital. So once you have independence, you can build this building here called the capital. Uh, maybe I'll show it over here too, under government. So the capital, it requires a lot of everything, but there's there's six versions of it. So there's capital level one, two, which requires an array of resources, three, <laughs> four, five. Let's look at the stuff you need. And then capital six, level six, which has crazy requirements. Um, like 50,000 plastic, which right now, if you want to buy plastic, costs. I mean, you can generate it on your own and just wait a long time. Or you can pay 55,000 per hundred. Uh, I won't do the math, but it's a lot of money if you're going to buy it. So you, you're kind of stuck generating it unless you already have some. So here's level six. This it's new in the version dot three one just came out. Now each of these buildings re require their own set of researches as well as well. Um, you could find them in the encyclopedia. You'll also see them in that site that I'm, I'll talk about in the next video. Um, they all generate civics in like each one generates more and more. I'm not sure if this will be the last capital building, but I guess we'll see. I think that kind of covers what I wanted to talk about in this video. Is there anything else on this map that you haven't seen? I think so. I think I kind of covered it. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is this map is really quite large. And you can, I don't know if I have mentioned it yet, but under 
policy, you can do this thing called annex land, where you you just you can expand the size of your map. You can buy more. So we have how many civics do we have right now? We have nine million civics, and we have uh, a billion cash. So let's actually do it. Let's even though I don't need the space yet, and it will slow my de game down a bit. Let's just do it for demonstration purposes. So you can kind of see where the see my 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 miners way over here. Let's zoom in. They're kind of right at the edge. So what this expansion will do is it ex it'll expand the the bottom two things of the map. The the top two don't get expanded, as you can probably tell from all this space that I had in the last upgrades. So let's. Let's do it. Let's upgrade it. Annex land. Boom. So you can see expanded. Comes with some random resources like uranium, uh, and gold. Which is kind of nice. So now our map is getting kind of humongous. And I don't know if there's a limit. Like, I think you can just keep doing this. Um, but I'm going to fill out this map first before I expand again because the, the bigger the map gets, the laggier the game gets, so you don't want to go too crazy. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the robot factory, which was new in the, the, a couple patches ago, which generates a new currency and they, can, they have this new robot yeah, which can build um, these new tall buildings, the Space Elevator, Residential Tower, and Capital 6, Level 6. But I'll save that for the next video. Thanks for watching, and please like this video, and uh, subscribe if you would like updates.